Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video, and today I'll show you how you can flow edit um, without even being fast. You could edit like this and still be able to flow edit. Now, there's one little secret, and I will tell you that if you just stay in the video, and I'll tell you that in a second. Make sure to like, subscribe for more editing videos and for more stuff like this. But a lot of people think those fast YouTubers are actually floating, but there's a trick to keep a floor to like make a floor invisible and keep it invisible that a lot of youtubers use to float uh but yeah and i'm just gonna show an example and show you what you need for your loadout so get <clears throat> get four cupid's crossbows it's like right here it's under purple uh and get one smg just get this one the submachine gun um make sure everything's reloaded Okay, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna shoot this until it stops repairing. You have to be careful. Okay, that's as low as I'm gonna shoot it too. So wait till it gets to full HP, then shoot it with the SMG, because <clears throat> then um, you won't have to keep shooting it and it won't keep repairing. So wait till your metal gets to full HP, and then um, like you could shoot it and it won't repair. So once it's at like a pretty low HP. You get your crossbow, and these things do one damage each, so I'm just going to keep switching off. So yeah, showing. Be careful, though. Like, don't just spam. Watch the health. Because I've messed it up a bunch of times. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to put in, like, fast motion or whatever and try to get it to 1 HP. <coughs> and by the way, these things do go away. So yeah. So yeah, I'm just going to get it to 1 HP really quick. Uh, but yeah. <clears throat> okay, I've got mine to 1 HP, and you see it's staying like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and clear this stuff. Okay. So this, I think, works for brick too. Just use metal in case. Um, so yeah, now it's at 1 HP, not changing. Before you go to make that invisible, make sure you can edit something really, like, it doesn't necessarily have to be fast. Make sure you can edit something to where it stays at one health. Like, see, that one is not going up. You can go really slow. You can even go as slow as this. You just can't do like this and have it go to 2 HP. Because then it won't go invisible. So practice that first to where you can make it invisible normally. <coughs> and I'm just going to make this invisible really quick. Um, by I'm just going to make it invisible by editing slow to show you that you don't need to go fast to make something invisible. It just takes more time. So obviously I could do this faster. I'm just gonna go slower. Uh, to show that you don't need to be a fast editor to flow edit for videos or whatever, to like flex on your friends or whatever. So you wanna do this for like 15, probably a little more than 15 seconds since we're editing a little bit slower. But if you're a pretty fast editor, then you can probably do it for like 15 seconds, if not a little bit less. So, I'm just going to do it for a little longer, just in case. <clears throat> there we go. See, like, obviously I could edit fast like that. But I was just showing that you could edit really slow to keep it visible. Now, what they do to hide that the floor is theirs, they go to the third setting, HUD skill, and go to target info and turn that off. See, then it doesn't even show that it's there. Oh, let me move that. Uh, okay, so it's just a floor there. <clears throat> now, okay, what they do is they'll make that invisible, but they won't show them editing that apart. So they'll just do this. They'll like show edit or whatever, and it'll be like a fake floor. So it'll be like this, like let's say it's connected to like something, and they'll do this. They'll be like that. Or like that, and then they'll start editing. And then they'll make it invisible. Like, because people sometimes think that this is actually them floating. And look, you could edit really slow, like I said. You don't need to edit fast because you don't actually need to float yourself. I messed it up a little bit, but once it goes invisible, people will think that you're floating. But yeah, that's trick number one to make something or to flow edit yourself okay so the trick number two is to 
Uh, I'm just going to delete this island for storage. I'm going to remove this. Oh, I can't delete it. Okay, let's just add a new one. And you're going to want to add the block map. So, well, let me delete the islands. Let's delete this one. Okay, so let's add the block. Easy, just confirm that. You don't need to name it anything. Just add the block islands. Wait till it loads. And this is method number two to like flow editing. So load it in. Now just fall down. You don't need to change any settings or whatever. So come all the way down, just fly, and then go to the edge here and place a floor. Now you can edit it like this and it will still float you. You see how you're editing? So if you edit like this, so if you edit like like, let's say you edit like this. Like, really slow. See? It looks like you're flow editing. But it only works on the edge. So you can't just, like, you know... Oh, you can't just, like, do this and flow edit. Like, it's only right here on the edge. So, you'll see a lot of, also, YouTubers, because they don't want to, like, make it... Um, they don't want to, like, do the crossbow thing to make it 1 HP. They'll just do this. So they'll edit that and then start, they'll edit this, look, oh wait, no, I'm doing it wrong. They'll edit this and do this, except really fast. But yeah, I don't recommend this method because then you can't really scroll real reset. So you'll have to like edit, like not this, you'll have to like edit in a different way. But see, you could do any edit, you could do that. But the thing they do is, I think they do this, where they'll just edit one, and then they'll edit back to themselves. So it's sort of hard, it's a weird way, I don't like it that much. But they'll do this, and then they'll just edit, and say they're flow editing. Then, like I said, you don't need to edit fast, you don't need to scroll or reset. Obviously, I can edit fast and stuff, but <clears throat> you don't need to, to make something invisible. You, like people still think you're floating if they don't know this method and remember to keep the um show like the stats like the health of the thing remember to keep that off in the settings i think i messed it up oh there we go see now it's invisible but yeah, i don't like this side so this is just another method and see if i go to my settings I turn on target info then it's the actual floor yeah, I don't know why this map does that. It's sort of cool, I guess. Uh, I don't think that works. Oh, that does work. Oh, so what you can do is you could do this. Okay, so you can do that and it's just start editing like crazy. Like, see, that's with me fully editing. Like, this is the slow version that you can do. As long as you keep it at 1 HP, you can go as slow as you want and edit. But obviously, I would do fast to make it look good and for a video. But yeah, that's just it for the how to float yourself methods. Uh, but yeah, uh, two basic ways to float yourself, and there's no such thing as floating <coughs> in Fortnite anymore. Like I said, because even with the fastest macro, there are videos of people using like the fastest macro. You still can't float yourself because that's just how it is. So yeah, like subscribe for more editing videos, and like to know how to get into the settings to customize your fps and your res because obviously i'm not on 60 fps and on that res i'm on 237 fps and on a stretched res so like subscribe for an easy tutorial on how to get this res in different reses and custom fps so yeah that's all for the video like subscribe bye